good morning my dear friends and students today i would like to tell you about liquidity ratio this is for become 6th semester students of dibrugarh university liquidity ratio means the ability of a concern to meet its current obligation as and when this become due there are three types of liquidity ratios these are current ratio quick ratio or asset test or liquid ratio absolute liquid or cash position ratio now i will highlight current ratio current ratio is the ratio between the current asset and current liabilities current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash within one year this assets included the asset included within this category are cash bank debtors bill receivable stock expenses prepaid etc current liabilities are those liabilities which has to be discharged within one year current liabilities include creditors bills payable advance receipt outstanding expenses and bank overdraft uh, some authors are of, are of the view that bank overdraft in a continuing agreement with the bank and hence it should not be considered current liability therefore unless otherwise it is especially mentioned that bank overdraft is a long term arrangement it should be considered a current liability current ratio is calculated as current asset divided by current liabilities the ideal current ratio is considered to be 2 is to 1 it means that the current asset should be twice that of the current liabilities it indicate a sound liquidity position of a concern current ratio higher than 2 is to 1 indicate sound liquidity position of the concern and current ratio lower than 2 is to 1 is the reflection of weak liquidity position now i would like to give the concept of weak ratio or acid test or liquid ratio quick ratio is a more rigorous test of liquidity than the current ratio in the current asset stock and prepaid expenses are included the convertibility of this type types of current asset into cash is not within the control of firm so the current ratio may give a misleading picture of liquidity if stocks are of slow moving nature therefore an alternate means of measure of liquidity is quick ratio or acid test ratio or liquid ratio it is the relationship between liquid asset and current liabilities liquid asset or current liabilities include all the current asset other than the stock and prepaid expenses this ratio can be calculated as current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses divided by current liabilities quick ratio measures the firm's capacity to pay off claims of current creditors immediately the ideal quick ratio is 1 is to 1 usually a high quick ratio of more than 1 is to 1 is favorable for the firm from the from its liquidity point of view and vice versa a third kind of liquid liquid ratio is absolute liquid ratio this ratio is even more rigorous than quick then the quick ratio it is known that out of the elements included in the quick 
asset, debtors and bill receivable are not within the control of the firm. Their liquidity depends upon the payment made by the debtors. If the debtors default in the payment, then there will be a problem for the firm with respect to the liquidity. Therefore, in absolute liquid ratio, debtors and bill receivable are excluded from the quick asset while calculating the absolute liquid asset. Absolute liquid ratio is calculated as absolute liquid asset divided by current liabilities. The rule of thumb for the absolute liquid ratio is 0 0.5 is to 1. It uh, means that rupee 1 worth of absolute liquid asset are considered adequate to pay rupees 2 worth current liabilities in all time as all the creators are not expected to demand their payment at the same time. With this, I finish my talk for today. Thank you so much.